In this video, we will see how to develop a TCP IP client server application using C Sharp. For this, we need to develop two different applications. One is for TCP server and another one is for TCP client. So to develop a TCP server, we need to create an instance of TCP listener. To create an instance of TCP listener, we need to pass the parameter as IP address and port number. IP address on which this listener will start and the port number on which it will ready to listen from client. Then after we will create the instance of TCP client and uh, it will instantiate once client will request to this server to connect. So we will see by debugging. Now there is a while loop. So inside this while loop, TCP server will continuously read from that TCP client socket. So for this, we have created here network stream instance. And then after, we will check if data is available on that network stream. Then server will read data from that network stream. And uh, actually, that is. Uh, this is uh, th this will return data as a byte array then after it will convert that byte array to a string so that we can see the data in readable format now we will see the tcp client code so in tcp client we need to create a socket for tcp client then after we need to pass the IP address and port number on which we need to connect to the server. So here I have given both same as in TCP server because we will test this client by connecting to that server only. And there is a while loop. So inside while loop we can give input and uh, that data will be returned to the network stream and server will sequentially read those data from that network stream so now we will see by running this application first we need to run the tcp server application okay so now it shows as server is started means a line of execution is now here in client socket equal to server socket dot accept tcp client now it will instantiate once client will send a connect request to server on that port only now we will run client application once client requested on that port our line of execution will go to next line now we will continue here yeah now it shows accepted connection from client this line of code and now server is in while loop currently now we will start this tcp client application now we will write here some message suppose here and after hitting enter the message will go to server application now we will see any another message it will go there So this is basically one way client server application means only client can send data to server and server will, server will read data written by client but server will not giving any data to client. Now in next video I will create two way communication so that client will send data to server and server will send back data to client. Okay thanks for watching this video.